Okay, I got some weird homeless legal problems that I'm just I'm trying to to balance out how best to approach uh, solving my problems here. So I, uh, I I'm trying to research appealing and other other options. The other option is a counter injunction. Um, my resources, I'm a bit at a, at a, in a bind. All right. So I asked if there was any legal library, law library in Coos Bay, and there's not. The law library is located in Coquille. So I don't know if that's really an option, as bad as these cops are over there. But it, there is like a uh, free legal um, like office that you can that you used to be able to walk into and get free legal advice up until now I looked on the Facebook they have a Facebook and I looked at it and it said up until December 15th you were allowed to walk in but they've had to schedule temporary hours where you have to call them. And that's where the bind is for me. I, I knocked on their door yesterday, which is not very far from here. I knocked on the door and I just, I tried to get an appointment by doing that, but they said, nope, nope, you got to call. And that's the problem. I don't have a phone. So I need to, I need to, um, maybe I might look into getting a, one of them temporary phones so I really have no op, a way, other way to call. I, I asked this library if they had any phone, and they don't. So the only way I could talk to... And I don't even know if I'd qualify. That's the thing. Will I qualify like for, for my situation, for, for trying to do an appeal or a counter-injunction, or try to get a hold of a judge and of the Coos County and ask, can I, can I just maybe volunteer this $50 off instead of pay because I'm indigent, you know, because this, this appeal process, the sixth amendment to the constitution doesn't guarantee you legal representation with a public defender to do an appeal. So you're out on your own. You can, you could do you, you know, the initial charge, you got a public defender, if it's a misdemeanor, and then after, and then above that, it's, it's, uh, if you have to appeal, you have to do it on your own, which it makes me question, do, I, do you need a lawyer then? It's like, if I wanted to appeal, then if you're not guaranteed a lawyer, then maybe maybe it's just you could just do it without a lawyer then if you're poor or what does it just do appeals only work for the rich who can afford lawyers so that's that's something that I'm, I'm not I'm not too I'm not seeing much information on and without without really access to the law library which is in Kokel and uh, having difficulties being able to set up an appointment with a legal clinic for the poor because I need a phone. Um, I'm just I'm at a loss because they you know these these legal libraries they have uh, very nice internet they have very nice wife they have very nice uh, um, websites that they're paying for. You can only access these particular websites through. The legal, the law library, the ones that give you all the details for cases and stuff. It's really nice. I, I was, I, I hung out in the one in Boise, Idaho, quite a bit. Good Wi-Fi, great computers for research. Uh, but a regular library just doesn't doesn't have them resources, as far as I understand. Okay, maybe I'll ask them again and see what they say. But I'm at I'm at a loss. I can't go to the courthouse. There's no research that you can do at a courthouse. 
they don't want to tell you anything. You have to go there with answers. You have to go there with the paperwork ready to go. You can't go to the courthouse and just start asking how to do things. They don't answer that. You either have the legal library or the or the other or you pay for you pay for what the legal library has, the those websites that cost like three hundred dollars a a year for the the court cases because people you know it takes time and effort to to balance out them court cases and and and, and input them into the into their website properly I, I guess keeping up on the latest court cases takes time and effort and those people want to be rewarded for it so that's I'm in a bit of a bind I, I, it seems like the next, the next most, uh, the ne easiest next step for me is to probably try to like look into a phone then so I can, so I can actually have, so I actually go through their process of calling them. It said it's temporary that you have to call it as opposed to walk in. So it's like, you know, I could maybe walk over there and maybe that temporary sign is down and it's back to walk in. I don't know. It's been going on since December 16th, and it's it's almost two months that they've been in this temporary status. So it's it's been it's been going on. They've been uh, really struggling to help the poor for a while now. Maybe somebody quit. So it's like I'm kind of I'm in a I'm in a bit of a limbo here with trying to do do re research on, on things. It's just like, maybe I should just let things slide and then let them go up a level so that I, I can get representation, so that I can get uh, um, the, 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 que the answers that I'm looking for. Because I'm um, trying, trying to, uh, to, to figure things out. Like I went to the, the DMV and, and asked them what information they get about me, if I if uh, if a if an injunction is filed against me, what what happens? And and they're like they get a docket number that they can give me to and to try to clear up. Okay, it's like I can't just I can't go to the courthouse in advance of this potential docket number of this potential injunction. I have to wait until it happens and then and then I can respond I guess cuz I, I don't I don't see I don't without without advice I don't see how I could uh try to be proactive and you know saying you know if if the judge isn't willing to offer me any anything to volunteer for and I'm telling her I'm in, indigent you know it's like it goes both ways here okay all right, so you don't want to work with me at all. The only way she'll work with me is by payment plan. I'm not getting a significant payment to myself enough to to start a payment plan to you. I got to think about eating. So I, I think I think I, I just have to like you know let them criminalize this situation more and and turn it into a to a bigger situation and and uh, go with, and see if that'll help. Um, bring it to, to further attention that you know I have I have needs to meet first before I could start um, giving in to their their uh, their demands okay I, I just it, it's this this whole this whole uh, fine system works best when the when the people have the money when the people have the excess money they're like okay fine you know I learned I learned my lesson whatever does that satisfy justice is that justified to to try to extract money that's that can go towards food to pretty much is it justified to starve somebody so I, I don't believe it is and I'm gonna have to see what I you know if, I'm gonna have to let things either slide with lack of um, resources on research or if uh, if there's some way I can, I just have to look into trying to get a phone, access to a phone or something, and 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 
You see, that's Skype. I tried, I tried looking at Skype. I could put $5 on Skype and try to make a call. I, I tried to, to make the Skype work on my laptop, but it wouldn't work for some reason. Um, maybe I'll just look at that again. You know, or, or just, or hope that this, this legal place will, will uh, get some uh, new employee to, to, so they can, so they can have walk-ins again.